The time was coming to celebrate the Passover. Every year, the Jewish people gathered together to remember a special event that happened long ago. When God's people were slaves in Egypt, God did great things to rescue his people. Pharaoh saw God's power and authority and he let God's people go. God had used Moses to lead his people out of Egypt to the promised land. God did not want the people to forget that time, so every year the Jews had a feast. Many Jews traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate. Six days before the Passover feast began, Jesus went to the town of Bethany. Bethany was near Jerusalem, and Jesus' friend Lazarus lived there with his sisters, Mary and Martha. Jesus and his disciples went into Simon's house for a meal. Jesus was reclining at the table when Lazarus' sister, Mary, came to him. She had a jar of very expensive oil. The oil smelled good, like a perfume. Mary broke open the jar and poured the oil on Jesus' head and feet. Some of Jesus' disciples were very upset. They thought Mary had wasted the expensive oil by pouring it on Jesus. The oil was worth 300 denarii, about a year's pay. One of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was about to betray him, said, she could have sold the oil for a lot of money and then she could have given the money to the poor. Judas did not say this because he cared about the poor. He said it because he loved money. In fact, he was a thief. They told Mary that she had done the wrong thing, but Jesus spoke up. Leave her alone, he said. She has done a very good thing for me. Then Jesus explained, You will always have people around you who are poor, but you will not always have me. Mary has poured oil on my body to get it ready for burial. Jesus said that wherever the gospel was told in the whole world, people would also hear about Mary and what she had done. Pouring the expensive oil on Jesus was not a waste, it was worship. By allowing Mary to anoint him, Jesus showed that he is more valuable than anything. Jesus knew he would soon die, be buried, and rise from the dead on the third day to rescue sinners. <laughs>